Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Daisy and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Dr. Vidya Patil, principal of Dr. Shivaji Rao S. Jondhle International School, Asangao, East Thane. In our interview, Dr. Vidya Patil discussed integrating emerging technologies like robotics and coding into the school curriculum despite parental reluctance in some cases. She emphasizes the importance of parental engagement and conducts workshops to bridge the gap between small town parents and modern education practices. The discussion highlights the ongoing efforts to provide students with a well-rounded and technologically advanced learning experience while involving parents in the process. Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Rumani. Let's hear what Dr. Vidya Patil had to say. We have with us Dr. Vidya Patil. She is the principal of Dr. Shivaji Rao S. Jhundhle International School, Asangao East Thane. Welcome to the summit, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, first of all, I would like to ask, how's your experience here at the 20th Education Summit in this beautiful venue of Hyderabad? Yeah, it's very nice, and uh, literally, it's. Uh, lots of learning experience because whenever we visit such type of conferences we always get lots of takeaways that uh, which we can implement in our school absolutely ma'am so first of all as we see that you know the technologies are uh, just overpowering the education sector today so how can emergent technologies such as artificial intelligence or virtual reality or augmented reality for that matter can enhance the learning experience for students and any such uh, activity that you have been doing at your school so you can just you know brief about that also uh, first of all i'm leading a tier 2 city school mm -hmm. so it's very difficult to make parents understand that these trends are going on in the education sector. So my first uh, hurdle is to make my parents understand that where we have to lead our kids. So means it's very uh, difficult in the sense that they are not ready to accept this though we are adjuncted to the metropolitan city. So slowly, gradually we are developing these things. First we introduce them, uh, the robotics then coding and then now we are uh, introducing them in the robotic lab actually. So it took us two years to create the platform, the base and now we are ready to uh, means take on that. Yes. That's great ma'am, good to hear that. So just wanted to ask like uh, uh, as you talk about the parental involvement. So, like, and we are discussing today's parental involvement in the education. So, how do you think that a, a balance should be maintained that a parent engagement and should be there with the, you know, child's education and uh, the child is pampered, like uh, nurtured both ways from the teachers as well and the parents as well. So, what are your thoughts on that? See, as our five fingers are not same, the, we have a variety of parents in our school. There are some nagging nagging parents there are some positive parents so as a leader we should understand how we have to utilize their positivity and we can con c means uh, we can uh, I means turn them their, their negativity into the positive approach I always keep my parents parents engaged in the school activity though it's a PTM uh, also means parent teacher association though it's any kind of event honorary teaching Anything, my pa footfall of pa parents in my school is means uh, in a month, twice, thrice it's there. So always they know that school, there is something going on in the school. My child is learning new things. They should know what is exactly going on in the new world of education. What is NEP? We always conduct workshop for parents. Then adolescents problems are there. On that base also, we always uh, means... Um, 
have lots of workshops and uh, knowledge giving workshop not only the workshops which we have to conduct as per cbse norms and terms but there are something uh, outcomes should be there so we conduct such type of workshops for parents so that they will also understand the what exactly going on because they are small town parents and they want their child should go in the world and with the positive and uh, the developed personality so it's our moral duty to give all the possible uh, ways to develop their child absolutely ma'am it's great to know that you are understanding your moral duty very well thank you so much for being here and we are very much delighted to have you here thank you so much ma'am same here thank you thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion we hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did